We should all be making green. Yo, how y'all so sure about it, man? Unless y'all kill Roller yourselves. That's what happened, Tommy? You killed my brother? Everything we want. Uh, dude, I told you not to eat in my car. <laughs> I just got the motherfucking joint. Ain't no saviors when it comes to crime, fry. Like then they did Give me a crime. Hell no. I told your dumb ass to order something while we was dead. <laughs> no problem. Don't let Stern mess with your head. Who's this? Yo, Jay, this Kanan. He used to run with me and Ghost. He just got out. Puerto Rican? You hear from Ghost? Yeah, he hit up my cousin's cigar shop down there. Cop in the tracer. The ghost shot up the club. He's hiding in Little Havana. Ghost oh. went down to Miami to cancel Christmas on her ass. Hello Power Fans and welcome again JKS TV and today we continue with Power Book 1 Season 2 Episode 3. Last time in Power Book 1 Season 2 Episode 2, we see Ghosty and Angie travel to Miami. We also see Sean escorting Uncle G to the airport and he still keeps secret from Tasha. So today we continue with episode 3 of Power Book 1 season 2. But before we continue, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel JKS TV. So without further ado, let's watch episode 3 of Power Book 1 season 2. No! And what did I tell you about barging <laughs> in people's room without knocking? Week. Where's that? He's in Miami on business for the club. Other kids' friends don't own nightclubs. They don't get shot at at work. You don't have to worry about your dad, okay? He's just fine. You're the man of the house, all right? So, you can be good luck with saying you there? It was hard to have faith in anything there for a while. Well, yeah, for a minute there, I actually wondered if you were going to show up. Everything we want. Dude, I told you not to eat in my car. <laughs> I just got out the motherfucking joint. Ain't no savings when it comes to crime, fry. Give me a fry. Hell no. I told your dumb ass to order something while we was dead. <laughs> I'm ready to get back to work, so you gonna tell me how you gonna go handling this shit now? Still running our distribution business. Sell wholesales to Soldados, Tainos, and Rock Street. This is where we clean our money. We can pay our rent and shit. Clean your money, huh? Hang out, man. I'll be right back. What? What? What's going on, Victor? It's a good thing I don't pay you by the hour. <laughs> Just like you did me. Same shit. <laughs> oh, man. You never grow up. You've worked hard to get to this point, and I'm proud of you. Don't let Stern mess with your head. Who's this? Yo, Jay, this Kanan. He used to run with me and Ghost. Just got out. Puerto Rican? You hear from Ghost? Yeah, he hit up my cousin's cigar shop down there. Cop in the tracer. The ghost shot up the club. He's hiding in Little Havana. Ghost oh. went down to Miami to cancel Christmas on her ass. You asked me, he just wanted to make sure Rolla hired her. He's still thinking about that. It's because they was friends. I told Ghost, your friend betray you? I caught him. Don't think twice. I said that to him too. So that is the place where. Yo. I need you on the next day smoking down there in my head. Got a location on the girl? Sure. I need you to roll out now. How is Tommy? I haven't seen him since that day at the sweet shop. Oh, you know, same old Tommy. Oh, we got a new girlfriend. Really? Yeah. And that cafe around the corner that serves the best croquettes in Miami. I am hungry. Well, it's right around the corner. Big ass, giant chicken in front. You can't miss it. So, pero vine a mirar a los profesionales. No somos profesionales. ¿Su nombre cuál es? Mi nombre es Jaime. Jaime. ¿Y tú? Me llamo Carlos de León. So we see her there. But... Mariela. Sí, Alito. ¿Me puedes desbaratar estas cajas y tirarlas en la basura? Sí, ya voy. Pero acuérdense, Alito, que tengo que ir a la casa en... ¿Cuánto tiempo te, te vas a quedar allá? I mean, that was the plan, right? It was. Still is the plan. What about you? You really ready for all of this? 
password to pull the voice recording that Nadina and I made at Ruiz's hideout? Greg, let me explain. No, no. Hey, no one will care how we got the info so long as we twist Egan to give up Lobos. Dealing with some stuff from my dad. Well, I'll, uh, I'll call you when I have something. Actually, it's gonna be hard for me to talk. Text me and I'll call you, okay? I love you and I want to be with you, okay? The ass and titties by himself. Look, we're trying to move forward in our marriage. I can't keep dwelling on the past. If a nigga did some shit like that to me, he don't have to worry about ever eating, sleeping, or brushing his teeth alone because I'm gonna be right there <laughs> watching his ass do it all. Didn't I tell you to stop bouncing a ball in the house? Sorry, Ma. Did you at least finish your homework before you went to hoop like I told you to? Hey. I didn't have Hi. Home. Go to your room. Do not come out until you finish your homework. All right. Okay. Yeah. I guess Boy Wonder's not wrapped around your finger as tight as you thought. Damn, he's fine. I'll be in touch. So I need this club. And I need to find another motivation to get Lita signed. You and Medina were right outside while he was upstairs. I don't know. Angela, if you approach him about testifying and he's not innocent, he could blow your case wide open. Yeah, but then I joined the team at the boys' club. Hmm. My dad used to play with me all the time, but not anymore. Mom told me that your dad went away. Did it get very ill? Like on a trip or something, or? Nah, man. He was in prison. You know that. Go ahead and put your clothes away, please. Hey, yeah, actually, I'm good, Miss St. Patrick. I'm gonna head out in a minute. Oh. You know, with ghosts out of town and everything. Yeah, well, you guys like family to me. You know, Therese's like, like the little brother that I never had, so. Mm. What the hell you think I'm gonna do? Uh, that line, Mo, I'm on it. You get her? I want it right now. Well, hit me when you're done. Still ain't gonna help with our weight-pushing power, man. Lobos doesn't care about anything. His only concern is a green dollar. Luis agreed to make peace with RSK, so I need you to talk you dubs off the fence. Okay. Good. Do you want to buy something? Quería, pero se me olvidó mi wallet. Lo siento. No, lo siento. Lo siento. Fuck you, man. You ain't won yet. I just won three. You keep betting, you're gonna go broke. Or you get back down with us, lace your whole crew. Choice is yours, Q-Dubs. What Kenan is saying is, we ain't so your enemies, Q-Dubs. We your friends. Kill Q -dubs. RSK stood toe to toe with you behind the wall. Now you out and you running around with white boy over here? You should be wearing green. We should all be making green. Yo, how y'all so sure about it, man? Bless y'all kill a roller yourselves. That's what happened, Tommy. You killed my brother. You know, you you ain't never been that smart. It ain't it ain't your fault, man. You don't come from good parents. Right? You know the real reason why they call you quarter water? I'm gonna put Tommy in jail and you could lose oh, truth, everything shit. you worked for. I can't let that happen. So you and me, us? I've known him 20 plus years. You want me to testify against him? It might be the only way to save your dream. No, we can do that. Okay. All right. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Hey. There you are. <laughs> Look. A hundred percent. This deal takes debt off the table while giving you more cash to grow your business. You get to retain day-to-day -day control. Is it the best deal? No. Hell no. But if you and I work hard, man, and we put money away, then we can beat them to the punch. Nice doing business with you. Likewise. You, you're a smart man. I know. Yeah, what, you need a ride or something? Uh, is it Lamar coming to pick you up? Girl, I'm tired. And Sean's here, so I might as well have a ride with him. Yeah, it's cool. It's very well. Contracts. Thanks to you. Don't mention it. Where would I be without you? And if he's 
see ghosts and die. Wow. This one. Absolutely. That was stern again, just telling me I don't have to stay longer to talk to any more club owners. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Long. Ghost and Tasha have everything. Taking my kid over there is like giving him a day pass to Disneyland and then bringing him back to this. No, I have a couple of calls I gotta make. I'll just take a cap. You sure? So power fans, that is all I got from Power Book 1 Season 2 Episode 3. Get ready for Episode 4, he's coming soon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel, GKS TV. And also drop the comment below and tell me what do you think about Power Book 1 Season 2 Episode 3. Thank you very much, this is GKS TV. Stay safe, see you next time and goodbye.